when we can finally say it's over, when we say it's the end and not just a bend in the curve, this Trojan horse that has thrown us for a curve for far too long, will we still remember that we're all in this together? Together with those whose special people have perished, so much stolen by a force we did not see coming. When we can finally say it's over, it's done, will we leave our lineups, our sanitized hands, leave our sourdough bread, our Zoom meetings, our isolation? Will we drop our mask and smile? Will we stand closer to one another, shoulder to shoulder? Will we take our neighbor's hand when it's no longer cracked from disinfectant and just hold on? Will we stop taking a step back every time a person gets too close, every time we come nose to nose with a side of humanity we never wanted to see in our neighbors, our children, ourselves? Where will our hearts be? the hearts in the windows hanging from trees. Our salute to those who work the front lines, those diffused hearts full of fear and dread, will they be filled instead with a correction in our kindness? A reminder that all hearts beat the same, except for those who left us, those now living only within us. Will we have more mercy for those who have lost everything? Not just in posts online, but in real time, with real souls who cross our paths. Will we step forward and not back? When the masks drop, when our children can play together, when our arms can wrap around one another, when we can pray together, when we can mourn together, sing together, dance and move and love up close again, share a meal with our friends, will we never again take for granted the freedom we once had to be our kindest selves, to express our love, our elation, and not step back in fear? Will we step forward and never forget the weight of a foot set forth in compassion? When we meet our sisters and brothers again in a new place of freedom, those from the lineups when we all stood together but so far apart, will we drop our mask? Will we smile and step forward with a willing, Embrace.